Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the rear evaporator fan motor grommet in your refrigerator, be sure to unplug the power cord. Remove the ice bin, if applicable. Lift off the freezer rack stop, then slide the rack to the left to remove. If you do not have an ice maker installed in the freezer, use a small flathead screwdriver to depress the tab to release the ice maker connection cover from the evaporator cover. Use needle nose pliers to detach the wire connector. If you do have an ice maker installed, use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to loosen the two mounting screws. Lift the ice maker off of the screws. Detach the connector cover and disconnect the wire connector. Detach the wire connector from the evaporator cover. Next, unthread the two screws securing the cover. Pull the cover forward from the top. Detach the grounding wire then disconnect the evaporator fan motor wire connector and you can fully remove the cover. If still intact, rotate the old rear motor retaining grommet counterclockwise to remove. Install the new rear retaining grommet by aligning it on the housing, then rotate clockwise to lock it into place. Reinstall the evaporator cover by first connecting the fan motor wire connector. Attach the grounding wire. Then align the bottom edge of the cover in the groove. Insert the ice maker wire connector through the hole in the cover as you fully reposition the cover. Thread the screws to secure. If applicable, reinstall the ice maker by connecting the wire connector, then align and snap the connector cover into place. Position the ice maker on the fill tube and the mounting screws, then tighten the screws. Otherwise, snap on the ice maker connection cover. Replace the rack. Snap the rack stop into place. Replace the ice bin, if applicable. Plug the power cord back in and your refrigerator should be ready for use.